was going to be this big of a haul until I started gathering the stuff up that I purchased just this last month. Um, I did get a good bit of Easter decorations this week. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize this was going to be this big of a haul, but it's going to be. Um, just really random stuff from decorations from Easter to St. Patrick's Day to makeup to clothing, you name it. It's probably in this haul. So I'm just going to get started because I just ramble on and on about nothing. And I'm just going to grab whatever's close to me and I'll work that way, I guess. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Snapchat or Facebook, I am... I have a small obsession, I guess, with uh, dressing my cats up and taking pictures for holidays, birthdays, um, any kind of reason, whatever. I will take pictures of them dressed up, St. Patrick's Day stuff, and I picked up some of this stuff for pictures for my cats, which is, that sounds really sad, whatever. Um, I just picked up this bow, and these came from the Dollar Tree. So I just thought that bow was kind of cool. These were super cool and these are um, the LED lights. There's like 10 lights in there. And I've got these before and they actually work really good. Um, I don't know if you've seen, I did like a, like a tiered stand thing and I put these in there and um, like a cake stand or whatever, I don't know. And it actually still works. I use it for my remotes and stuff um, for my TV. Uh, but yeah, I like these a lot and they always have like really cute ones for holidays um, or whatever. I didn't look and see if they had ones for Easter, but I'm definitely going to go back and check. Okay, so I also have an obsession, you guys probably know this by now, with Hello Kitty. It's really bad and um, so I picked up more Hello Kitties for my collection and I actually have them all around my room. Um, my husband built like this like quarter wall or something. I don't know. There's like a ledge on it to go into. This door is my craft room. So they all sit along that edge up there and I'm running out of room. I have one spot left and this is going to be the spot um, that it's going to take over. Yes, and I seen this and I just figured I needed it in my collection. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but then I went in the second time and I was like, yeah, I really do like it. Um, so I picked this up and it's just like Hello Kitty dressed up as a little lamb. Look how cute she is. And then there's like a little tail back there. But um, the, the guy at CVS, it was like, first off, I'll give you a background story. We were supposed to get like 24 inches of snow, which is crazy. I live in Pennsylvania. And I never believe anything media says they're normally always wrong or they get it way off or if they blow it out of proportion, it normally never happens. Um, so we didn't get any snow. Like I woke up this morning and there was like literally like just a dusting of snow, right? The kids didn't have school. It was a hot mess or whatever, but it was still like sloppy out. Like it was just like wet and just muddy and it was just a mess. And today is when I went actually to pick this up. So it was just like a muddy mess and the guy just hands it to me and was like, okay, have a good day. And this thing's like super white, first off. And I and I understand he doesn't know me and how clumsy I guess I am. But if I would have went outside with this, I would have just dropped it getting into my car or would have rolled out of my car when I got out or whatever. So I had to ask him for like an extra bag. And um, I realized after I asked him for an extra bag, he had to go like back to the back because he must have been out of big bags. Um, so yeah, I think I kind of annoyed him, but... It, it came home with no stains, so that's always a plus, right? My husband, my husband always normally finds stuff before I do. And he'll see it and he'll be like, oh, look. And then, like, because I would have never seen it if he didn't point it out. But we are at Walmart, of all places. I had these in the cart and he's like, I'm surprised you didn't see these. He's like, you didn't want them? And I was like, oh, yeah, now that they're in the cart, I didn't see them. But they're absolutely adorable. So... Good job on my hubby for this, and this one is just a little bunny, little purple bunny. It's so cute. Has a little tail again on the back, um, and this is smaller than like these breeders. You can see. Next one was this, and it's a little chick. Little costume and a little dress and. Um, just has her little tail or whatever but uh yeah that was super cute and um my hubby got me those and I thought that was adorable so I'm gonna have to find some room for those because those were kind of like unexpected kind of decorations type thing but what are you gonna do when it's Hello Kitty 
I have like this really tall skinny tree. You guys have probably seen it. I Snapchat it normally every holiday that I decorate it or every time it gets redecorated. Um, and I just like pack that thing full of just decorations and everything else. And I try to pick up a couple more decorations every year just to have something new. So I figured I got these at, where was this? At Kmart. And these were $2 a piece. And I just, I don't know why. I just thought they were super cute. They're just like little bunnies. So I got a pink one and I got a blue one and they had other colors. They had like a plaid one and they had like a plaid one and a purple one, but I only like these two colors. So I got those and those are going to be on my tree for decoration for Easter. And then I picked up some of these and these were $3 for three eggs, which I thought was crazy, but whatever. Um, and they're just the Hello Kitty Easter eggs and those will probably go on my tree as well. So those were my Easter decorations. Uh, I have like these trapezoid windows and we have like cathedral th ceilings. So I like to put like stuff in those windows for, um, I don't know, for holidays and stuff because that's like the first thing you see when you walk up the steps. And I couldn't figure out really what I wanted to put up there for Easter. Didn't really have anything. So I got two things and um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the other two windows because I have four. But um, I got this and I didn't want to get two of them because these are $12 a piece. But it's just like this carrot and it has like grapevine and I don't know. It's just really cute. Beside it, which I thought was cute. I mean, I could have made this super easy. Honestly, it was it was nothing. But it was $14 and I figured I'm just going to buy it. Save me from saying I'm going to do a project. I'm never, I never get it done. Um, I have enough projects that I need to get done, which I'm working on. Uh, I'm working on for DIYs, by the way. But, but anyway, this is the sign that I got. Just says Easter. And it has these little bunny ears and there's a little tail there and it's just kind of like a distress sign. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cute and um, figured it would look cute in my window. So yeah, um, I'll Snapchat it once I get everything decorated. If you guys are nosy or just want to hang out and see what I do, um, I'll Snapchat it and show you what it looks like. Went to a thrift store, which I will show you clothing wise what I got here in a little bit. But it, I just thought it was adorable. Look how cute this is. It's a little basket. And I originally, like, I always put like something, a bucket or something, in on my coffee table and I put remotes in it because, like, remotes will just go missing. It's weird. They'll just disappear, like, if I don't keep them in something or, like, like I should tie them down to the couch or something because they'll just like disappear or I'll lose them or whatever. So I normally have like a basket and it collects all kinds of chapstick and random stuff or whatever all the time. And I originally wanted to get that for this. Um, however, it was just too small. It's pretty big, but it was just too small to hold all of our remotes and everything. So I just got my husband some starbursts. He likes those. I don't like them. But I just got my husband's Starburst and I'm just going to use it as a candy thing actually for on my bar. Um, but I thought that was super cute. I talk too much. I'm out of breath. It's called Wow Outlet. I don't think anybody has them around. I think it's just like kind of like a one thing store like around me. Maybe there are other places. Again, I'm going to put it on my spring tree for Easter. And it's just a little Hello Kitty and she's holding a flower. It's like a tree leaf kind of skirt or something. I don't know. Um, so it's just super cute. And i never seen one really like that. So she's going to be added onto my Easter tree as well. I got these at the Dollar Tree, but I thought they matched these bunnies that I picked up at Kmart that I showed you earlier. These. Um, but I got those. And I thought these look kind of similar, don't they? I think they do. Yeah, they do. Regular pillow and I just keep them on my couch. And they're sequins and they just like kind of change colors, which I thought was kind of cool. My husband and I always write like stupid shit to uh, each other on these normally. And I'll wake up and there'll be like random sayings or something on these pillows, which is fun. Uh, my kids do it and everything else. But anyway, those are kind of neat. I have heart ones and I have solid sequin ones um, that change all kinds of color. I also posted this picture today and I shouldn't even be getting into clothing because I'm going to do makeup next. But uh, challenge accepted. My friend sent me this shirt and I think she said she found it at a thrift store. I'm not sure. It's called Top Stitch and the tag looks kind of like vintage. So I would imagine, I think she got it at a thrift store. 
It looks brand new. I don't think anybody um, had worn it, so nobody was a crazy cat lady. I did wear it today. Um, I changed just for this video because um, it was just driving me nuts like around my neck. I just can't handle that. Anyway, rambling on. Look how cool this is. It's just like a black cat. And this is like velvet almost. And it has like a rhinestone collar. How cute is that? So I absolutely love my friend. Um, and I don't, I think she sent this as a joke, not thinking I would wear it. I absolutely will rock this. And I loved it. So I wore it today and it's super soft. So Cool gift on that, absolutely love it. And um, anything cats, you can't go wrong, right? These little makeup organizers, and these were like in the storage section. They had all different kinds. They had one for nail polishes, they had little drawer ones, which I have um, that you can just stack them. They're like little drawers, like that. And they're like just like those caboodles, like plastic ones that they have. And then I got this little divider and you can put like lipstick or nail polish or whatever and I had to break up a cat fight. So anyway, crazy cat lady. That was just perfect timing when I was showing you my sweater. So anyway, um, I picked these up and they actually had a good bit of them and these are expensive like if you'd buy them at Walmart or Target or somewhere. They are a little bit on the smaller side but um, they're like the perfect size and you can buy a whole bunch of them and stack them together. It's still way cheaper than um, getting them anywhere else. So I'm just gonna stack mine like this and I'll probably glue mine just so they don't forge wise and my cat's in my frame. Zoom, zoom. He is a pain. He's now he's laying on my new clothes. Um, no outfit's complete without cat hair. Like, I can't get rid of them. So anyway, going to CVS, I got some new things just to try out. Got a little bit more than what I, can, what I went in there for. But I had a whole bunch of coupons, and if you're a coupon shopper, um, which I'm going to start actually doing coupon videos again, I had a huge amount of stockpile, and I've been using that. So I am actually have no stockpile whatsoever at all now. So I'm going to restart doing coupons. So if you guys are interested, definitely leave me a comment. I'll probably do videos, maybe a go with me video, and I'll show you what coupon I'm using for what product. And then when I get home, I'll do a haul. Um, brush tip eyeliner. And I just, I don't know, I like to try a different new eyeliner. And I normally always go back just to my plain gel eyeliner. But um, I don't know, I tried this out. And I like a lot of L'Oreal products like mascara and eyeliner. I like their, um, I like that brand for mascara and eyeliner. And this is like an old school favorite. I don't even care. I always buy one of these. Um, and honestly, I think it's probably one of the best mascaras other than the one mascara that I showed you that L'Oreal doesn't make anymore. It's like the dual end or whatever. But anyway, this is just the plain one and I got it in carbon black and it's just their basic regular voluminous um, carbon black mascara. And it says two times the intensity. It's a little bit different than the old school one. But um, this is the best mascara. It does kind of clump, I've noticed, on the brush once in a while. But it just makes my eyelashes really thick. And I just like the way it always comes out. This and Lash Blast is my favorite. And I've tried my fair share of mascara. I'm not used to having, like, a bright lip. I normally just do a nude lip. Um, so I'm trying to find the perfect pink for summer and I picked this up and I'm normally not a fan of CoverGirl lipstick. I just don't know. I never really gravitated towards it. Um, I normally like Maybelline is my favorite but I picked this one up and it's in Yummy Pink Rose and it's a really pretty color. Mad, But anyway it's just like a gorgeous pink and that's what I have actually on right now. I didn't think it was that bright until I was outside and I looked in my mirror in my car and it was actually a lot brighter than what it seems I think now. It doesn't look that bright now but anyway that's what it is and I do kind of like it. Um, it's not the brightest pink that I really had in mind that I wanted to try but it's a start um, so what the hell. The lipstick that I picked up and Maybelline is my favorite lipstick drugstore wise um, and I just got this and it's in 17. And again, it's just a really pretty light pink color. Um, just figured for summer. It's like a coralish pink kind of color. I don't know. I'll post a picture of it here later once I don't have 
um, any other lipstick on, but um, again, this is a Maybelline lip. So there's a lot of new things there that I have not tried since I have not been buying makeup, and I figured what the hell, I'll catch up on everything and try to purchase it and try it out. Um, this was my favorite. They had three different palettes of these, and this one kind of just caught my eye a little bit more than the other ones. And this is in Bronzy Brunch, and it's the A067. And I just thought that was kind of cool, probably because it was zebra print. That's why I was attracted to it. I don't know. Autofocus, I don't know. Compact. Um, I just needed just a cheap uh, foundation just to really throw it on my purse because everyone I threw, I had an Estee Lauder um, compact in there and it wasn't cheap. And I had it in my purse and it all shattered and it was all cracked and everything. So I won't cry too much really when this one, um, it's called Matt About You, which I thought was kind of super fun, but um, it's just basically a translucent powder, so we'll try that out. Um, I've been liking a lot of Wet n Wild stuff. I'm a sucker for when it says new sticker. Um, that's just kind of how I go, and this is a Wet n Wild, and it's the eyeshadow primer, and it looks like that. And if you guys want reviews on this after I try it for a little bit, um, let me know. Leave me a comment, and I will do a video, maybe a combined video of everything that I purchased. I just needed some, um, it's called the Lash Blast Fusion, and it's a purple one. I got some e.l.f. products. Um, I just always liked e.l.f., and I don't know, I haven't really used e.l.f. for a while because I had stuff. So I got um, the HD Lifting Concealer. You guys, this isn't new, so I'm sure you guys know what all these are about. But um, I've tried this before. absolutely love it. Um, just figured I'd pick another one of those up because I was out. I got the HD Under Eye Setting Powder, which I have never... I don't know if you guys have any good products that you use for like dark circles or whatever. Um, let me know and I'll try them out. love the Gosh Primer. Um, it's just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a silicone almost, but um, it makes your foundation go on absolutely amazing. And I'm going to order another one of those because um, I think it's a UK brand. I'm not sure. It took me a long time to use all of it because it was actually a big bottle. But um, I have high hopes for that, but I don't know if this is going to be just as good. Um, but I figured I'd try it. Um, it says poreless. Uh, face primer and it's clear so I will let you know and see if I can compare it to my gosh one or not Friend is actually pregnant and I went with her to this motherhood store to get a dress and um, something for her baby shower and I tried to refrain not to go into Charlotte Ruse but it was like right across you know right across from the store that I was in so I ended up running over there and I picked up a few things over there and I haven't been in there for a while and I made up for it so anyway um I had a coupon I forget what it was it was on retail me not if you guys don't use that app you probably should um these were clearance these were five dollars if you can tell these were five dollars and they're just all black and white I don't know um, this is just an off the shoulder and I don't know if you can tell. Just pretty basic, but it was five dollars. Then I got I tried all these on so it's like a mess. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one because it's just like it's too like awkward, I guess. I don't know. It's like off the shoulder. It sits off the shoulder and it looks really cute like this. But it would look better. I think I'm going to just like tie it or something because the back of it has like an open here and then there's like a tail or whatever here. So it looks like that. So I don't know. I'm going to play around with it and see, but I don't really like how the back looks. Um, I think it would look better, more fitting, but I really like the sleeves and everything. So I don't know. Might be a DIY. Then I got two more. I got this one and I got deodorant stains on it when I tried it on when I got home. So it needs washed, but um, you'll get the picture. Just a tight shirt off the shoulder and then the back of it has like a little opening in here. So the strap goes like around your um, lower waist. Looks really cute on. Look better without deodorant stains, but I'll fix it. And then my last one, 
is super cute. It's probably one of my favorite ones. Um, I wish they had this one in white, but they didn't. Um, so I got like three black and one white. I'm pretty boring when it comes to shirts, but um, it's just like a fitted shirt and it has like a ruffle here and it's just off the shoulder. And this one's really cute on. Then I went to this sale. They had like, um, it was like fill a bag for $5 or something. It was uh, the thrift store, but it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know, but it was like fill a bag for $5, but whatever. I did pick this up and at the time I was like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of weird and it's kind of different and I like that. So I wasn't really sure if it was gonna look kind of cool on and it actually looks really, really cute on and I was impressed because I wasn't sure really about these sleeves. They have like a little ruffle and then buttons and ruffle here. And then for the bottom, it's just like kind of like a bubbled, brought together skirt. Well, I guess it's a dress, but. And then there's a tie that it ties around the back. And then there's a zipper that zips up the back. Um, it's really cute on. I will post a picture um, sometime on Facebook or Snapchat. At that fill a bag sale, I picked up these and I just wear these all the time um, around the house or when I clean or whatever. Um, they're just Victoria's Secret pink. Um, and these are the flared ones. And I like actually the flared ones a little bit better than I do um, the capris or whatever, just around for the house or whatever. Um, and these rhinestones, there's, there is, there's two missing, um, but like, you're not going to be paying attention to me when I'm at my house, I don't think, and counting rhinestones. So, um, picked that up, thought it was super cute, and obviously those are really comfortable. I have been on the hunt for like the perfect little backpack purse, um, for summer. I just really want one. This isn't the style that I had in mind. I want one like with a flap over it and like a little clasp kind of like this like in the front if you mean I don't know but I seen this and again this is the bag sale so I figured what the hell I'm just gonna throw it in there and I kind of was looking at it and I kind of actually do like it it has these adjustable straps here which is nice because I like to clip just my car key or something on there because I just have um, like a sensor for my car so that's kind of cool I just sit it there and um, it looks like this and there's a pocket here and then there's a zip pocket here in the front and then on the back there's a pocket and then you get inside the bag from the side which is actually kind of convenient and it's pretty big in there and then there's another little zip compartment so actually there's a lot of good compartments and it's obviously a backpack and you can zip it like that to do um, a crossbody or whatever. So I kind of actually do like it. I wasn't thinking I was going to, but I kind of do like it and it's a nine West bag. Okay, so these were previously loved um, and I can see why. I tried them on when I got home. I've never heard of the brand, so I really wasn't sure um, what they were until I looked at the tag and I realized they're Old Navy. I never had Old Navy um, jeans before and, but whatever. Somebody really loved these jeans because they are worn a lot um, and I really like them and I kind of like them like that as long as the crotch doesn't rip open when I'm wearing them and this is why if you can tell these are what they look like but there is like a little rip starting right there so that kind of sucks because these are really cute and it just has like a ripped knee and um, they're just like skinny. I don't know, they're really cute on, and like I said, they are kind of worn, so I'll probably just use them um, when I'm doing stuff like around the house or outside or whatever. Another pair of jeans, same sale, American Eagle. And these are the artist jeans, and I like those. These are long though, and I'm like 4'11", so they're super long on me, so um, I'll just make deal with it, because that's all my jeans are always way too long. But, um, yeah, anyway, these are just regular American Eagle jeans, and they are boot cut. And there's no holes or anything in them, just a little bit of distressing, like right there. Uh, which is good, because a lot of my jeans have holes and everything, and they look 
my look homeless sometimes. That's why I put it in my bag, um, just because, you know, it was filled bag, so I was putting something else in there, a headspace. And this is the only thing that I found. And I liked it because um, we have a Harley, we go, but it looks like old school, like vintage, like not a cute vintage, I don't know, it's just like a weird color of jean, like a jean color, but it's weird. But I seen potential in it, and I am going to add my own kind of thing to it, and that's what I had in mind when I bought it. So this will probably be a DIY video, so keep up to with that. Um, it's just like this jacket, and I thought it would be cute. I have like this orange um, tank top or whatever, and I thought it would be super cute actually on top of it with on the bike or whatever. But it's I don't like the color of denim. It's just weird. But anyway, um, it is a Harley Davidson jacket and has a big logo or whatever on the back and it is kind of just dressed itself a little bit on the collar so it looks like that and then it's like a rut and then it has like a, a rough edge anyway on the bottom so I don't know what I'm gonna do to it yet it's still I'm still thinking about what I'm doing I don't know if somebody did this it looks like somebody did already start distressing it because this was a pocket and now there's no pocket there because it looks like looks like they cut it I don't know um, so I think it was a project in the making and I'm just going to finish it up um, I don't know if I'll bleach it out or whatever I don't know um, but if you're interested maybe I'll record myself not knowing what I'm doing destroying it while I'm doing it um, and maybe it'll turn out cool maybe it'll turn out as a cool video I will uh, I will do that because I'm going to do that. That project's um, on my list of things to do along with like 500,000 other ones. But um, I want that done before summer, uh, before we get on the bike. So like a messy hair day or whatever, just throw one of these on and say you did your hair or at least look like you have some thought into it. So I got a, I got that orange one and then I got this red one red plaid one and again these were um, single packs so I didn't get all three of them in a pack but um, each one of them was a dollar from the Dollar Tree they had all different actually other kind of colors I wish they had pink I didn't see pink but um, they had every single other color other than that um, and then I picked up this and this is just another headband and it's just like a whole bunch of things and it has clear beads on it um, and just a headband again for that and then my last one was this one, and it's just like a little beaded. I don't know if you can make that out. Little beaded, and there's elastic in the back, and that's just another headband. I've been wearing a lot of those, but I don't know. If you guys are the same way, let me know, because I feel like I'm, like, strange. Anytime I have my hair up lately, or even if I had, like, my sunglasses on top of my head, but really if I have, like, a headband around my head, I get like a migraine, like horrible migraine. Um, I don't know why, that's kind of weird, but so I don't really, I can't wear these all day. I really like them and I do try to wear them and I'll try to like hold out my headache, but I just get headaches pretty easy from headbands. Not like you care. I ran in there to go to the mall and I like walked through JCPenney's because it was the only parking spot I had. And I seen these and like it's almost flip-flop season as we're getting snow actually right now. But flip-flop season is coming. I promise you, even if you're in PA or around Pennsylvania, around me, I feel like it'll be flip-flop season soon. Let's hope. They were $22 and for some reason they were $3.97. So each pair was $4, might as well say. And I wear these all the time, especially if you guys pay attention to what I wear. I literally could live in flip-flops all the time. Um, that's just my thing. That's just what I do. So I picked up more of these. I have these flip-flops from last year, um, but they look pretty rough because I wore them like every single day all summer long. So I figured it was about time to get new ones anyway. Um, those ones. And then lastly, just more blinged out rhinestone ones. So for $4 for uh, flip-flops, you know, you, I can't go wrong because I, I wear the shit out of them. I've been on this hunt for the swimsuit, and I actually ordered another one, um, and it's, like, really cute. So I will Snapchat it when it comes, uh, but I just didn't want to wait around 
for it just for this video. Maybe it'll be in my next month haul video, so keep track of that. But I did pick this one up at Amazon, and um, I was kind of worried. I never really ordered off of Amazon before, and I just, like, Chinese sizes are just, like, blow your mind, like, small. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's just their sizing is so off or like Americans are fat or something. I don't know. So I was kind of worried about ordering this to begin with. It looked super cute on, on the model and I figured what the hell it was only $10. So it's not like I would have been out a ton of money. So I picked up this and this is like so cute on you guys. It's like a ruffle top bikini and there's a little bit of padding there, but not too much. And then your arm obviously goes through here. So it's like off the shoulder. And I've been on the hunt, you'll see, because I bought a couple of them. Um, I've been on hunt for the perfect off the shoulder swimsuit. And I don't even go swimming. I don't. We go to the beach and I'll sit on the beach um, and I'll go like walk around with my feet in the water. But I don't really go in the water. I can't swim and I have like a phobia. But I do love swimsuits. So I picked this one up and this one has the longest string. Look, they keep going like that yes and it's kind of cute on the end so this like wraps around and around like the top of your like rib cage or whatever and I thought like that was kind of weird because I was thinking about taking it off but it actually is really really cute and it's nice because it's like that in the front as well so I mean if you do need it a little bit tighter you can um, the straps can come off and there's just like a clasp closure in the back um, so I picked that one up, Amazon, and I was hoping, like, it had, like, the rouge, the rouge, um, back for the bottoms, and I, was, for sure, like, I ordered a swimsuit from a Chinese site before, absolutely loved it, but the bottoms never fit me, and I don't even have, like, an ass, and it, like, didn't fit me, like, my ass was hanging out of it, so I was kind of worried, not thinking I'd be able to find the bottoms, like, a color for the bottoms, but actually, these fit, um, I got a medium, and I'm normally a size zero, so if you guys, good luck. If you're going to order it, good luck. This one fits perfect, so um, it's just so hard for sizing, and I lucked out because I've actually bought a ton of swimsuits, and they never fit. So I'm glad this one fits, and it actually looks pretty cute. The bottoms are okay. They could be a little bit better. Like, I thought the rouging would be a little bit more, like it needs it, like, to be couple more inches longer so I don't know but I might actually try to sew it up or fix it or just wear it like that I don't even care but um, it's really cute on and I will post a picture maybe when we go to the beach um, this summer so then I forgot in my bag sale which I paid five dollars for I picked up this and this is a Betsy Johnson swimsuit and I have been on the hunt, and this was after I already had ordered, um, I ordered actually two swimsuits online, and I actually found this in this bag sale, and I was like shocked. This is the cutest top. I couldn't find the bottom, so I'm struggling. I need to find like the bottoms to this, but it's a Betsy Johnson um, swimsuit, so I mean, I think I should be able to, and it has like a strap here, and then a strap like actually on the sides, and it's a little bit ruffled. And it actually has an underwire, so I mean, your little things are staying in there. This is a little tight on me uh, because it's a small. So, I mean, I'm squeezing in there. But it's actually, I couldn't pass it up. It was just too cute. Um, and I love it. I do. So, then, still at the same bag sale, I picked this up. And this is actually a Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret one. And it just clasps. Clasps. I can't even say that. That's such a weird word. Clasp like that, and it has like a daisy, which the daisy has a little bit of wear to it. Like somebody wore the shit out of this too because the paint's chipping off a little bit, but it's really cute on. You can take this strap on or off. Um, I need them on because I just can't use like a bandeau top. Like I'm always afraid like I fall out of it or something. So I'm glad the neck strap was still attached. As I say that, look... As I said that, it like came off the hook. So I don't know how sturdy this one's going to be. My luck, I'd go into the ocean for the first time and like my suit would fly off. That's just my luck. So anyway, I don't know. It looked cute. Um, the functionality of it yet, I'm not sure because I normally don't go for that style. But we'll just see. Last, last thing in my haul, and I promise I'm done talking and everything else. Now these bottoms are small. 
they fit me, but they're like, my butt leg is really like, I don't know. I probably actually wear different, different uh, pants or different bottoms with that. Can't even get this right. One, and this is just a ruffle um, top, and it's actually off the shoulder. So I mean, your arms, where do they come through? So I mean, your arms come through here, and it's like that. Um, really cute on, so and it's super comfortable. And then the bottoms, like I said, are super tight. I don't know what size this is. There's no size on it. So I'm like, like I said, they fit, but they barely fit. Like they'll fit like around the waist, but like my, my butt is like longer than this. So I mean like my butt crack is like almost plumber butt crack in these, which, you know what I mean? Whatever. So I'm going to probably have to find a new, a new bottoms for that, but whatever. I have like swimsuit fail. So hopefully the one that I ordered like for real off of American site fits me and I really like it. So fingers crossed with that. Um, I'm overly posting somewhere normally, um, but whatever. So I think I talked for like 50, what is it? 58 minutes. That's insane. And I didn't even have anything to say, you guys. Like I just talked about random shit, like nothing. You're filling your brain up with stuff that is pointless right now, but I'm glad you spent it with me. If you made it to the end of this video, put all this stuff away. Cause like my room just likes like, pfft, it just is like exploded like everything. My cats are dragging stuff off and thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions or anything, definitely just ask, let me know. And thanks for watching and you guys take care.